So today we're only gonna work in getting the friction that the wheel gets with the collision in the ground or the actual tarmac or whatever you call it. So we're just gonna get the numbers that we get when the wheel collides with the mesh collider or whatever collider we have. Okay, let's open our script and let's make a new method. We're gonna call it get friction. Let's do a for loop that goes to the wheel length. So in here we're saying all the wheels get ground hit from the wheel hit. So right now we have all the information from the wheels. We just need to use it. Instead of having to look at the console right here, which updates like 200 times a second, we're gonna use a uh, array. So we're gonna say, actually this array contains four float values, the same as we have wheels. So we're gonna say slip, to the index of i is equal to wheel hit dot dot sideways slip so again this only returns the slip or the fraction friction loss if we go sideways, if we drift, let's save it and let's, let's see if it works. We have an array of four and it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Let's go sideways if we can. Yeah, it works. So it's in minus when we go into the right one, into the left one, left sideways, and it's in plus when we go right. Let's try and getting and filling the same values, but this time with forward slip. And let's make our wheel drive type into rear wheel app drive. Yeah, you get the idea. It's slipping. Yeah, so only the rear wheels are slipping. They're slipping constantly. Let's switch this to front wheel drive. Now the front wheels are slipping. 